Hello everyone. Welcome to our English lesson. Today, we will practice saying words better and understanding more. We will learn new words too. Please listen carefully to this conversation. Arriving and preparing for yoga class. Hello. I'm new here. Could you tell me where I should put my things? Hi, Sarah. Welcome. You can store your bag and shoes in the cubbies over there. Then, grab a mat and find a spot anywhere you like. Thank you. Is there anything else I need for the class? Just make sure you have a water bottle and perhaps a small towel. It's important to stay hydrated and comfortable. Got it. I'm looking forward to the class. During the yoga class. Let's start with some gentle stretching. Please follow my lead. We'll begin with the neck and work our way down. Should I move if it hurts? Only stretch to the point of mild tension, not pain. It's crucial to listen to your body and avoid any movements that cause discomfort. Now, let's transition into the downward dog pose. Sarah, try to distribute your weight evenly between your hands and feet. Like this? Am I doing it correctly? Yes, that's much better. Try to keep your back straight and press your heels down a little more. Mid-class correction and encouragement. Everyone, let's move into the tree pose. Sarah, remember to place your foot on your inner thigh, not on the knee. Is it okay if I can't balance for too long? Absolutely, it takes practice. Use a wall for support if you need to, and focus on a fixed point in front of you to help maintain balance. I think that helps. Thanks. Wrapping up and feedback. Well done today, everyone. Let's finish with some deep breathing and then a few moments of meditation. That was a great session. I didn't realize how tense I was until now. Yoga not only improves flexibility but also helps with relaxation and stress relief. Keep practicing and you'll notice even more benefits. I definitely will. Could you recommend any online resources where I can learn more? Sure, I'll email you some links to good beginner videos and articles. They'll be very helpful. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Sarah. See you in the next class. Let's learn some new words and phrases from the conversation. Cubbies, meaning small, open compartments where you can store personal items, like bags or shoes. Hydrated, meaning keeping enough water in your body to stay healthy and function well. Tension, meaning a feeling of tightness in your muscles or body parts. Discomfort, meaning a mild feeling of being uncomfortable or in pain. Distribute. Meaning, to spread something evenly across different areas. Balance. Meaning, the ability to stay steady and not fall over. Practice. Meaning, to do something repeatedly to get better at it. Now let's practice. Listen well and complete the conversation. Arriving and preparing for yoga class. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. You can store your bag and shoes in the cubbies over there. Then, grab a mat and find a spot anywhere you like. Just make sure you have a water bottle and perhaps a small towel. It's important to stay hydrated and comfortable. During the yoga class. 
Let's start with some gentle stretching. Please follow my lead. We'll begin with the neck and work our way down. Only stretch to the point of mild tension, not pain. It's crucial to listen to your body and avoid any movements that cause discomfort. Now, let's transition into the downward dog pose. Sarah, try to distribute your weight evenly between your hands and feet. Yes, that's much better. Try to keep your back straight and press your heels down a little more. Mid-class correction and encouragement. Everyone, let's move into the tree pose. Sarah, remember to place your foot on your inner thigh, not on the knee. Absolutely, it takes practice. Use a wall for support if you need to, and focus on a fixed point in front of you to help maintain balance. Wrapping up and feedback. Well done today, everyone. Let's finish with some deep breathing and then a few moments of meditation. Yoga not only improves flexibility but also helps with relaxation and stress relief. Keep practicing, and you'll notice even more benefits. Sure, I'll email you some links to good beginner videos and articles. They'll be very helpful. You're welcome, Sarah. See you in the next class. Good work in our English class today. You listened and practiced a lot. Keep practicing, it makes you better. Every time you learn, your English gets better. Remember to like and subscribe for more lessons.